Awesome. Got some properties of exponents. Some of my favorites. Sure. Why don't we go through and we'll get a list of these properties and then we can exercise them. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the algebra section. So let's get out our x's and y's. Let's talk about, let's talk about what x to the third is. Well, see, that's, that's x times x times x. Yeah. Cause my, cause my, 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 uh, is that a Lady Gaga thing? I'm not sure. My exponents, that's a repeated multiplication. So there I am, and here I'm at. Um, what do I want to do? I want to go through and I want to talk about some stuff. Yeah. What if we had, um, 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 x to the third, Hmm. Over x to the second. Oh boy. Yeah. And then I could I could line them up and fight them. This is x times x times x. All over x times x. Very nice. And then they fight. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. After the dust settles, what's left? In my numerator, I have an x. In my denominator, it's annihilated. Let's put a flag where it used to be. Mm -hmm. Which is what? Just x? Oh, boy. Good stuff, good stuff. Mm, I see so. Um, let's go ahead and throw up that property. What do we see? If we have the same base in dividing, what do we do to their exponents? We subtract them. Yeah. So if you have, if you have, if you have x to the a divided by x to the b, here I have the same base and I'm dividing. So then this is going to be x to the a minus b. Oh, sure. I like that. We got one for division. Think we got one for multiplication? I don't know. Let's Check it! If we had x to the third times x to the second, we could write them out in the expanded notation. Um, to explore any of these rules, you can always write it out in sa standard or expanded notation. So then here we got, here we got. One, two, three x's. Good. This is from x to the third. Three. And then we're going to multiply it by two more x's. One of them. Two of them? Awesome. Well, now if I was going to rewrite this guy in exponent notation, it would look a little fun, something like, uh, mm, x to the how many? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, ah. Good. Let's write a general rule. Yeah. If you have the same base and you're multiplying, what are you going to do to their exponents? Adam. Adams hate me. Sure, this is x to the a plus b. Tee hee, tee hee. Good. Now let's go through and let's find some other rules that we can prove using these rules. Yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. What's x to the zero? Hmm. First I'm just gonna tell you that anything to the zero power is one. Except for maybe zero itself, and then sometimes it's not. Oh, yeah. So now I'm over here. Uh, how am I gonna go and I'm gonna show this? Ooh, I don't know. Let's use some of our other properties. Um, here we go. One, right? Follow me on this. That's equal to x over x. Ah, wait. What's five over five? One. A million over a million? One. Uh, is it a far cry, a stretch to say that x over x is one? All right, we're having some fun. Well, let me use that top prop up there, yeah? Do I have the same base? Sure. Um, what's the exponent right here? It's a one, right? If you don't see it, 
assume it's a one. That's also a one. So I can use that property right there and say that s is x to the one minus one power. Well, what's one minus one? It's none. X to the none. So what you got? Um, one is x to the zero, and it's inequality. So you're good. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? What if I have a product raised to a power? Um, let's go. Let's expand that thing. You noticing a theme, a common theme? When you see that guy, you expand that guy and see where it goes. So this is x times y times x times y times x times y. Oh, boy. Uh, three times. One, two, three. Good. Do I need these parentheses? Hmm. No. The association is the same. This is x times y times x times y times x times y. Oh, sure. All I've done is remove the parentheses. Now I'm going to commute my terms. The commutative property, that's when they actually remove. Yeah. So then this is x times x times x times y times y. Let me rewrite that guy using my exponential notation. This is x to the how many do you see? Yeah. Third. Y to the how many do you see? Yeah. Third. Good. So let's put them on our list. Put them on our list. We have a product raised to a power that's each one of the factors raised to that power. I was going to put three. B's look a whole lot like threes. Well, at least they sound the same. X to the B, Y to the B. Hmm. Maybe that's like H to the Izzo. No. Uh, all right. So let's talk a little bit about this property real quick. Some people say it's like distribution. It is not distribution, okay? Distribution is multiplication over addition. This has no addition. This is multiplication. But it feels like distribution. So I say, so I call it dis, all right? So if you see something like that, then you do this, bam, bam, yeah? You do this, bam, bam. And then after you do that, you have x to the b times y to the b. Mm, but let's be clear, this is not distribution. Got another one. Yeah, let's keep on going. Keep on keeping on. Take a look at this guy, man. What are we gonna do? We're gonna expand it out. All right. Um, if I take a look at this, it's kind of like hand to the fourth power. So you know to the fourth power, we're gonna expand it out. So it's gonna be hand times hand times hand. How many times? Four times. That's how many times I'm gonna repeat the copy of my hand. All right. Fine. So this is one, two, three, four places where my hand would have been. Mm-hmm. Um, what's my hand? It's x to the third. X to the third. X to the third. X to the third. No need to do to expand that out. Um, just like it's This is one, two, three, x's. So in my general rule, if I got a power raised to a power, I multiply. Let's write up that guy. X to the A to the B, that's going to be X to the A times B, T he, T he. Now careful with your A's, right? Sometimes they can look like nines. Nines are just A's with long hair. Thank you.